Alex Trebek's death has once again brought pancreatic cancer back into the spotlight. And tonight, one local family is sharing their story of hope and struggle to remind people just how important it is to get screened. Here's Tonya Sides, Leanne Stuck. Um, I always had a crush on Mike when we were teens. Mike Raisin met Jill Swan when he was a kid, delivering newspapers in her neighborhood. The two started dating after high school and have been together ever since. I love Mike dearly. Mike is a fighter. Um, I tell Mike every day, you have a tremendous amount of guts to get up and do what you do. Back in January, Mike was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer at just 42 years old. They gave me probably two years to live. Roswell Park Cancer Institute oncologist Dr. Renuka Iyer said late stage diagnosis of pancreatic cancer is very common. Unfortunately, for the majority of patients, over 80, 90 percent of patients, they're diagnosed at a later stage four uh, when survival is often short, um, measured more in months or um, a year, two years. After months of rigorous treatment, Mike's doctors found it was no longer decreasing the size of the cancer. He recently started a new treatment path. And the second treatment's really um, taken my wind away. It's not going as good. It's working as far as I could tell, but it's really taxing on my body. As a father to six-year-old Gabriella, Mike continued to go to work every day, but his last day of work will be at the end of the month. As he continues to battle for his life. And I refuse to just give up. I'm fighting as hard as I can, as long as I can. He hopes his story will help spread awareness and hopes pancreatic screening will become widely available. I would like to somehow get more awareness to where people are getting, or men and women, because women get this too, but that people are getting checked for this and they should be starting probably around 25 years old. He's our hero. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News. We certainly wish Mike and his family all the best. Well, Riga 